and hello everyone welcome back to another Pascal tutorial in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at pointers now a pointer is basically the memory address of something so where that variable is stored in the RAM because each location in the RAM has a specific value assigned to it now let's actually use it a little bit so I can kind of show you what I mean so here we have a number we'll just call it num which is of type integer but also let's have a num pointer which is a pointer towards an integer so take note of this caret symbol here it's a pointer of an integer let's say we also have an address and this is a pointer to a word data type variable and let's I just have a null pointer for later reference which is a pointer to a string so you'll get what I'm doing here is always a caret symbol and then the data type that is stored in that location in memory now let's say we have num which is of type integer so it's 5 times 10 which would give us 50 and then right line num and just specify num and we should receive num there we go num 50 now we can assign num pointer the address that num resides in so where in the ram the memory itself this value sits because this variable is stored in the ram and that ram specific location has an address pointing towards it so here we can just say num ptr becomes at num meaning this num pointer becomes this pointer location here so this at symbol will convert it from a normal number and instead get its location in memory now if you were to try and right line this to num ptr you'll get this you cannot right line a pointer you'll need to dereference it first by doing this putting a caret symbol at the end so you're dereferencing it meaning if you run it you get the value stored in that pointer this pointer here itself is a memory location if you want an address you can do this num address becomes addr for address let's say num pointer so it will get the address of num pointer and let's just also print out num address and we will also need to dereference it now when we do that and we add our semicolon where it's needed and we run it again we'll get address 59424 so that is the address in which this pointer resides in the memory now if you come from c++ you would have gotten this big hexadecimal value but in pascal it is generally a lot simpler now i don't want to go too deep into pointers i feel this is territory you should most likely trade yourself but to give you an idea let's actually open up my drawing program that i love so here is your ram so this is the ram you have inside of your pc to give you a simplified idea of what we're doing let's say we create a variable x and we say that is equal to 10 so we assign it to 10. now this x variable has a specific address let's say it is 2242 two, so this is its specific address now this address is basically here it points to this location in the ram so this is a very oversimplified view so when we say please print out x then we're saying print out the value at this location so then it will go it will see okay you are at the location but what's stored in here and it will see 10 is stored in here then it will return that 10 and it will print out 10. so we're telling it or here it's telling it that 
x is this location in memory behind the scenes this is what's happening it's basically actually just storing an address inside of this x but we don't have to worry about that we just worry about the value but behind the scenes there's action address that points to where this value is stored inside of the ram and literally where this value is stored in it on other knees you can also have a nil pointer and a nil pointer is just a pointer that has no value so it has no location it's pointing to that means that it's empty so it's not pointing to any specific location in memory meaning there's no value it's trying to reference so we say if nil pointer is not equal to nil then we know right line something is inside the pointer so if this value is not nil then we know there's something inside of the pointer in this case there's nothing inside it so it doesn't print out anything but let's say we choose num pointer here and put that there instead of nil pointer then we'll get something is inside the pointer and that's the basics on pointers in pascal thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all again in the next tutorial.